Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to surf the internet anonymously using the program Tor, which is part of the, the Vidalia bundle. And to do this we're going to open up our internet browser, go into your Google search and type in Tor, T-O-R. Hit enter, go to the first one, Tor project, and download Tor. Very simple. Now, this, make sure you get the right one. First one here, Tor Browser Bundle for Windows. And then, I mean, they have, if you're not using Windows, if you're using Mac or Linux, then you select one of these. But right now, we're using Windows, and actually, I haven't been able to get it to work on Linux, and from what I've talked to with some of my friends, they haven't been able to get a version working on Linux yet either. So we'll click on Download, Save, and then we'll let this finish. Actually, I've already got a version finished already, so we'll click on. So I'm going to cancel that. And then, once it's finished here, it's going to be in a 7-zip format, so you'll extract it. Um, and then just keep note of where you extracted it to. Mine went to uh, my downloads folder, and then I just copied it straight to uh, my desktop which is right here and I open up the Tor browser or the folder and click on start Tor browser and then this begins and it can take up to about two minutes for it to start or I mean for it to connect completely but once it finishes it will tell you and then uh, it will launch its own internet browser And so we'll give this just a minute. And it is connected. And we'll give it just another minute for it to, and then it launched its own internet browser. Now this here is your network map, which I, I clicked on, view the network map. And you can zoom in to fit, and it shows you where your signal is being bounced to uh, around the entire world and it'll continue to do so until you exit uh, it's a little bit off though because I'm actually currently uh, just outside of New Orleans Louisiana so I'm not sure what this looks like Kansas or so that it's launching it out of but uh, we don't need to have that open just as long as this one here is and this is our confirmation here that we're connected to Tor and so uh, one definite way to uh, make sure that you're connected is to go to uh, Tor Mail, which is the anonymous email server that you can be a part of, but you can only access it by using Tor uh, so that it is completely anonymous. And you come down here to where it says our, our Tor hidden service at, you know, all that dot onion and you'll click on that and if it loads then you are definitely connected because there is no other way to get to this website other than using this particular software not that I have found anyway uh, because it is part of the Tor hidden service there are other websites and services as well that you can access using Tor or the dot onion layer software that they offer uh, but we're not going to go into that, particularly in this video, uh, because that can be quite in-depth. One downside to using Tor is the uh, huge amount of time it takes to surf from page to page. This loaded, so uh, we can see that it definitely we're definitely connected, as you can see up here. Uh, we reached a dot onion address, and then here you just sign up and create an address. And anyone that you send it to, it doesn't log an IP address, or at least not a recognizable one. So there's no tracing uh, to anybody. And then whenever you connect to Tor to access your Tor mail, Tor hides your IP automatically anyway. So even Tor mail itself can't recognize your IP address in order to forward it onto the next to who you're sending your email to. So it's a pretty good little uh, anonymous email client. And there are other reasons to use it too. Anyone that wants to be anonymous surfing the web has their own reasons for doing so and can think of however many 
justifications they need in order to do it. So this is how you uh, do that and then we'll uh, exit out of this and make sure that you leave this start tour browser application in this folder otherwise it will not work just a little tidbit and then that's that so I hope you guys enjoyed that let me know if there's anything else y'all would like to see and uh, I'll talk to you guys later